How y'all doing? Good. Okay. Opening statement for us. Or? Opening statement. Uh, finally get to go. You know, I'm excited. <laughs> I've been. I feel like I've been here for a while. Uh, you know, I was here obviously in spring, not being able to participate. I was joking with uh, my girlfriend last night that uh, I haven't practiced officially practiced since November, December. So I'm excited to finally get back going and um, get out there and practice. Talk to me about your your journey here. Let's let's start there. You know, what was that like making the decision to, to continue here? Mm -hmm. um, so originally when I was at Utah State and um, Coach Matt Wells left to Texas Tech, I had uh, went in the transfer portal, obviously. And um, although I thought that I was going to go to Texas Tech, um, Marshall had originally reached out to me. Um, and it was a place that I was deciding between. It was actually between Marshall and Texas Tech. And um, so this time around, when I went back in the transfer portal, I thought that connection again for them to reach back out to me, I thought that it was kind of God telling me that um, this is where I need to be. What is uh, what has Marshall been like for you so far? And maybe in comparison, maybe it's not a fair comparison, but compare Marshall to Texas Tech. You know, what makes you confident that you know, this is it? This is the place. You know, what does Marshall offer you that maybe and you weren't getting at Texas Tech, or what does Marshall have that Texas Tech doesn't have? Um, I think that just speaking in football terms, is a really talented group of guys on uh, both sides of the field. Um, just being able to watch them and then being able to obviously throw the ball with them um, this summer. Um, it's it's really has a lot of depth in comparison to Texas Tech where we just had um, a solid group of starters and stuff like that. Um, outside of football, it's really fa like a family atmosphere. You know, it's really welcoming when I'm when we're in public. Uh, a lot of the fans and people like that are really welcoming to us, to my family, which uh, I really appreciate. A lot of, uh, I guess, anticipation for you out there. But as Coach Huff mentioned, I mean, the job hasn't been awarded to anyone yet, so you're, you're just you're out there fighting as well as everyone else. How do you see that competition? You know, what's the quarterback room look like to you? Yeah, absolutely. Um, there's competition everywhere, and competition makes every quarterback. I mean, every position greater. It's each quarterback in this room has something different that they bring to the table, and just being able to learn from each other, um, bounce ideas off each other in film and out there on practice. It's going to be really important for all of us. You know, we have a really young group, um, a bunch of freshmen, some sophomore, and then me. So. I'm just looking to kind of be the older guy that I used to look up to, um, kind of teach some guys some things that I learned along the way. I've been behind a couple great quarterbacks. So being able to teach those guys, I think that'll be important for me and for them. You got comfortable with, say, the offense line, the backs, the receivers, people you had to work out, throw with. How did that come along this summer when you were doing some work? Uh, it, was, it was real smooth. Um, once I learned the offense, it was pretty much from there just getting together with the guys, running the plays. Building the chemistry is always important. And when you're in a position like I have been, you know, around a couple of different groups of guys, um, I kind of learned them, kind of hung out with them outside of football. And we just kind of built the relationship, which is important. And um, I think it's come along really good. Henry, you know, we talked earlier after spring ball, you know, when you were officially able to join the team. And, um, just the, the difference in coming in and being the oldest guy in the room uh, versus coming in and trying to soak everything up. Mm -hmm. uh, how different has that been for you and maybe some challenges that have come along with that? It's been interesting. Um, I think it's kind of learning how to interact with other quarterbacks and other players, um, how far you can go in the, in the leadership role, like how guys take different coaching or leadership. And like I was telling him, um, I've been behind a couple great quarterbacks like Jordan, um, obviously Allen. Um, Tyler, I've, we've kind of all learned from each other, and I'm just looking to kind of take everything that I've learned from them, from all my coaching, and kind of bring it here, and I'll keep on developing the culture. You're a long way from home, from where you grew up, right? But you probably heard of uh, some pretty famous Marshall quarterbacks. Mm -hmm. uh, did that have anything to do with your impression of Marshall University? Yeah, I think absolutely. When you look at the success that other quarterbacks have had here, um, these are guys that have gone on to play the next level and have made a great name for themselves. I think that's always important. Um, you know, a couple of those guys, I mean, they're continuing to do, to do so in the NFL. Offensive coordinator job, Byron Leftwich. Um, I think that's really cool, and it's definitely a positive thing here. Henry, at the, I asked Coach Trickett about it, but with just 30 days, how would you kind of keep yourself from trying to get in too big of a hurry to, to get everything installed and, and then obviously to try to win the job? Mm -hmm. uh, I think it's just taking it one day at a time. Um, this is, I think, my sixth fall camp. So um, <laughs> I kind of know. The timeline throughout that, um, just taking it day by day is always important. 
each different day has a an install. So being able to focus on an install one day at a time and then being able to put it together within those 30 days would probably be the most effective for me. Uh, just a quick follow up with, with all the offensive weapons you have already, machine, receiving court, it's not like you know the coverage there. So whatever happens, you're going to lean on those guys too, right? Absolutely. Um, you know, Corey is a guy that I grew up with. He's from Palm Beach. We kind of played in the same area. And we have a lot of Florida guys, but um, you know the weapons. Like I, I spoke about earlier, the depth on this team is it's pretty fascinating. You have uh, twos and threes that could be starters somewhere else, and um, I think just spreading the ball around will be important, and just getting the ball in playmakers' hands. Henry, you said uh, you've been here a while. Non-football related question: What do you like best about Huntington and the community? Um, I feel like I've made some pretty good relationships here. Uh, uh, I hung out at a Creekside golf course a little bit. I met Donnie, the owner. It's just guys that have been really welcoming to me. Um, just hanging out outside of football, you know, guys, I mean, even my family come around here. They're really welcoming, and um, it makes us feel good, considering I'm, like we said, far from home, even though it's not the furthest I've been, but still. Um, it's just exciting to, to have a family atmosphere oriented uh, environment. night before Christmas, do you have you know, any, any angst, any nerves about uh, taking the field tomorrow? No, I'm just excited to be back out there. You know, it's been a while. Um, it's time to get rolling. Okay, cool. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you.